Good morning. Now, this video is going to be filmed over the span of a few days, and it's kind of be gonna be what it takes to get ready to go racing, but not with the big cars, with the funny car or the dragster here in front of me, with Mr. Boston's little Fiat Topolino and the little car. Now, the first thing that you've got to do is you've got to have tools to be able to run these cars. So the first thing that's on my list on getting everything ready is to find all the tools and get everything ready so that the toolboxes aren't half empty, that they aren't an entire mess so that we can actually work on the cars this weekend when we take them out. Okay, so when I was here last, I started like super deep cleaning the lounge and I got kind of to this point, I wasn't happy with how the rug turned out being cleaned, and so I didn't get to finish it all the way before I leave. So I just need to finish cleaning this up, I can put the rug back down, put the chair back, clean everything up, and then once I'm done, I can bring up my driving bag with all my gear in it so that it's in here and ready to go for this weekend. I can take this box out because there's nothing in it. and basically have everything as ready to go for Sunday as possible, even though right now it's only Wednesday. Like I said, this video is going to be filmed over a couple of days, so there will be things happening each day um, in the shop and in the trailer as uh, you watch through this video. Happy Friday! This is what we've got going on right now. So the 18-wheeler is hooked up to Dad's truck because I came out here to start it earlier because it's been super cold here in Texas for the past few weeks and it was like completely dead, no lights, no anything. So Dad's truck is hooked up to the batteries charging it. We wanted to come out and check it today before we left. Today's Friday. Um, just so that we knew there's no problems before we have to leave on Sunday morning because that would not have been good. And then... Back here in the race car shop, I got Mr. Boston's altered, turned around, and before we go, we're going to have to put it up on the Pro Jacks, and Dad has, there's a uh, stop on the clutch that Dad has to adjust to get it right before we take it out. Mr. Boston is going to come hang out with us on Sunday, which is going to be super cool. The Fool's Errand is pretty much ready to go. The only thing we'll need to do when we get there is to drop the oil pan, torque the rods, and adjust the valves, and then put everything back together, make sure everything's good. On my list is to load up all of these nitro and oil jugs and clean them off first because they're all disgusting. And then out here in the race car trailer, um, I gotta get a bunch of this stuff off of the counters because we don't want it all sitting here while we're rolling down the road. These pistons need to be put away. And then I would also like to mop the floor because you can't really tell on camera, but it needs a bath. So that's on the list. It's going to be nice uh, not having to load the dragster up. We're only taking like two tool boxes. I think we're taking the clutch box and one of the head boxes, the nostalgia car and the altered, and then fuel and all the stuff that we need to actually run them like the golf cart or whatever but it's going to be pretty quick and easy we won't have to set up the awning or none of that stuff which is going to be so 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 nice so it'll be a lot of fun this weekend i am super super excited for it <laughs> Happy Saturday. Tomorrow, I get to drive a race car. In a few minutes, we're gonna open up the trailer and start loading things, but while I'm waiting for Dad, I need his help with something real quick. I am going to pack this parachute on my car because actually both of them seem to have fallen out, so I need to fix that before they go. If you wanna learn how to pack parachutes, uh, there's a video from Funny Car Chaos, day one of Funny Car Chaos, where I explain it all and walk you through it. So. Check that video out. I never wanna know. Hey now, call me a thief, but I thought I so our entire goal tomorrow is racing doesn't start until 2 o'clock. So we kind of want to be there and as be as ready to go as possible because we're trying to make two or three runs with my car and then one or maybe even two runs with Mr. Boston's Altered. So right now I'm going through and a bunch of like little stuff that you've got to get done 
before the car goes out. We're trying to get it done tonight rather than tomorrow when we get to the racetrack. So the only thing we'll have to do when we get to the racetrack tomorrow is torque the rods. So the next thing we're doing is setting tire pressure in the front wheels. Dad wants every the front wheel on both cars to be set to 50 pounds. So I'm just going to check it real quick and add some air if it needs it and take some away if it doesn't. We cleaning my hoopty up. Vroom, 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 vroom. Zoom, zoom. Let's go fast tomorrow. It's kind of hard to tell when it's sitting in the shop and all dusty, but if you look over here where the sun hits it, it's super sparkly and like the paint job on this car is beautiful. Mr. Underdoll, one of dad's friends who does pro stock bikes, is also a painter, painted this car for dad. And it is beautiful. The paint on this is fantastic. Love it. Like even, like, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but there's all kinds of little fish scales. It looks so cool, especially in the sunlight. Okay, so I've just spent a lot of time getting both cars clean, and now I just got in the funny car because uh, we do this thing called shadow driving or chair driving, whatever you want to call it. It's where you sit in the car or even just sit in a chair and go through everything in your head of what actually you're going to do. So from when you start the car to when you do a burnout to when you back up to when you hit the gas. I'm going to go through it a couple of times in my head just to make sure I have everything down before we go out tomorrow and I do it for real because I just want to make sure I have it perfect. Okay, I did that a couple of times and I called dad in and had him go over it with me just so that I was a thousand percent sure that I had it right because I don't want to mess up. How we're going to do it tomorrow is dad is going to um, have me do the same thing I did in Vegas, the first one, and then he's going to decide after he sees how I do, he's going to see if on the second or even the third run, if I'm going to be able to go further because he has it set up with a timer on um, the throttle. So there's this little timer, so he's got it set at half a second right now, so that as soon as you press the gas down, after that half a second up, it just it lets go of the throttle, which is super cool. It's a good safety device for especially when I'm learning. But right now, I'm going through and I'm wiping down the car with WD-40. And this is more than just cleaning the car and make sure, making sure it doesn't get rusty. Something that's super important, especially on nitro cars, uh, is keeping an eye on everything to make sure it's good to go. So um, we do it a lot on the big cars, is wipe down the cars and make sure the chassis is clean and taken care of because something as tiny as a little crack that you might not see when the car is dirty can be super, super bad if the car was to do something stupid and it bends the chassis in half or breaks the chassis. So it's super important to go through and keep an eye on everything. So that's what I'm going through and doing right now, just wiping everything down with WD-40, making sure it's good to go. Um, after we're done with this, we've got to start loading things into the trailer. First, the fuel jugs, the air compressor, a bunch of that little stuff. And we're trying to make it as ready to go as for tomorrow. I've got to get the valve covers off and um, get the valves ready to be adjusted for dad. But we're making progress on things and we're getting stuff done. Some are sun, some are like rain, some are like healing, some are like pain. Show me, why do you care? I'm a black vulture, send me a prayer. Fantastic final sunset of the year. Peace out 2022, here's to 2023. Okay, so what I am kind of working on is figuring out how we are going to get two cars and the golf cart in the trailer. Dad's going to come up and look in a few minutes with me, but I'm thinking I might have to move some of the E-Track in the floor here in the trailer because uh, we gotta make sure Mr. Boston's altered and the funny car are tied down as good as possible. And if you come in here and look, so right here, those two and these two hooks in the floor are where my funny car gets tied down. And then you come over here, there's this bit of E-Track in the floor where you can move the hooks around. 
And then there's also this bit of E-Track in the floor where you can move the hooks around. But I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to do it because I think I can put the back of the altered straps right there, but there's, it's, there's nowhere right there to hook it up. So I might have to move that E-Track back and then tie the golf cart in up there, but I haven't quite figured out yet. Uh, Dad's going to come up in a few minutes and look with me. You might not be able to see it, but I got the golf cart and the toolboxes, a uh, toolbox put back upstairs and ready to go. Next, we're gonna push Mr. Boston's altered in, and then Dad is finishing adjusting the valves on my car, and then that'll be pushed in after the altered. Hello, funny car. Hello. Hello. Okay, well, Dad is getting everything finished up. I'm up here going through all of our gear, making sure we have everything just so that we're good to go for tomorrow. My car and Mr. Boston's car are pretty much ready to be pushed back into the trailer. Dad got uh, my car all buttoned up. Mr. Boston's car is back on the ground. And tonight, we're just going to push the cars in the trailer. We're not going to strap them down. Tomorrow, we'll get up and do all that stuff. But... We're about ready to go. We've got a list uh, here on the box of the little car of stuff that we all have to take care of tomorrow just to make sure it's good to go. But we're gonna push these cars upstairs and uh, get them done. Okay, we are calling it a night because Dad and I are both tired and um, there's a couple of little things on each car that we have to fix in the morning. The altered is upstairs in the trailer. Um, we're just having to move some stuff around to be able to fit it, but uh, this is still really, really, really cool. Even if we're having the problems, it's still, I can't wait to go tomorrow. It's going to be a lot of fun. And it's really cool being able to do this alongside Dad, like working with him, doing everything with him, rather than it already being done or one of the guys doing it or whatever. So that's really cool. I get to actually work on my own car tomorrow. I'll be the one underneath the car torquing rods. Dad will help me. But... I get to help do all that stuff, which is really cool, which will end up helping me as a driver in the long run, knowing my car and knowing how everything works. But at this point, I'm rambling because I'm tired. So make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all those YouTube-y things, and never give up.